Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So today I thought I would start off with a new pen series and this is called Clash of the Titans. Now I've called it Clash of the Titans for a very good reason. These are my not only my uh, more expensive grail pens but these are the larger grail pens I have in my collection. Now just as, as a reference point on either side here we have two what I would class as smaller pens probably the smallest in my collection uh, and this pen on the left here is a Waterman Hemisphere Essential and that is quite small and thin and on the right here we have a Edison Perlet and um, that is, is a very small pen saying that even when like the section is very very small in terms of diameter but when I actually hold it it's not that bad a pen to be honest but it's certainly a smaller pen compared to these other behemoths that, that I have or titans that I have here today so from left to right let's just have a look at some of these pens so this is the Visconti Opera Master River Thames this is made from the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog material and it is a massive pen. The Opera Master is some of the larger Visconti sized pens uh, available to date. Uh, there are some that are as large and bigger but um, now in terms of size here you'll see that this is quite a large pen. Now you can post this pen but you really really do not want to um, unless you're a person that absolutely has to post your pen like if I actually show a comparison here with the hemisphere you'll you'll see just how <laughs> much of a difference these pens really are posted and look at the the size of the nib there the the, the difference there in in nib sizes let me just zoom in a little bit here and you can see maybe this is crazy uh, how those nibs are definitely different so for me these pens are very large oversized titans of a, of a pen and now I wouldn't normally post this pen. Uh, I normally hold down on on the section here, and this pen for me is quite comfortable enough as it stands, uh, without having to post uh, the cap. So, so this pen holds around about sort of three and a half milliliters of ink. There's the Ecstasy de Oud now uh, from Visconti, and this is a Mammoth Pen too, and it um like. If I unscrew the nib, you'll see here, again, it's a large pen, even in my hands. Now, you can post it, and again, it just becomes absolutely ridiculous. So, trying to post this pen, it is just like a Harry Potter wand. It is just absolutely crazy. Uh, but it's a really, really lovely pen, and and a pen that I still love and cherish. Um, it's uh, although it's a large pen, it, it has a very, very uh, small capacity um, filling system on it. If I show you here, it's basically a piston push pull piston there, so it really only holds that amount of ink, which is crazy for such a big pen. But the reason behind that is that what happens is that this is it's more of a Middle Eastern pen and I'll show you here if I unscrew this there is another blind cap and if I unscrew that the idea is that you will fill this with perfume or, or scented uh, liquid you will use this which is a dabber and you will dab basically dab it in and then you dab this in here where you would normally have some cotton fluff and that will basically make the pen smell very nice now strangely enough to date 
this is not something I've actually even attempted to do. Um, although this compartment is in theory sanitized, uh, I've not really wanted to store anything, any liquid in there, just in case it it isn't fully sanitized and 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 treated, and it does kind of rust eventually. So maybe I'll try it one day. Today really is not the day to try that. Now we have this one, which is a, a new addition to my collection, which is the Visconti Speakeasy, and very similar to the Ecstasy Dowd, this also has a very very small filling system and i'll show you that in a in a minute but um this pen is a behemoth uh, in terms of girth like it it's like a fat marker um it really is massive so if i unscrew this again like you can see uh even in my size of hand this is a large pen you cannot post it though it it will not post so no matter which way you try to do it and to be honest there's no way you need to post this pen at all but i'll show you why this is a small capacity and this is the reason that basically it, it will only fit a small cartridge or small international converter and the reason behind it is that most of this barrel is again like the ecstasy d'oud before it is taken up let me just put this cap on with a compartment here so you unscrew the what would be the piston knob and again you have this other very strange compartment and then what you do is you unscrew that and then in here, you store around six milliliters of alcohol. So, so this is the speakeasy, which basically goes back to the the, the speakeasy era of uh, prohibition of alcohol, and in, in in the United States, and this was a way of, of trying to conceal some alcohol that you had. So, for me, this is a massive, massive pen. It's almost like a like a fat marker or a fat cigar. It is very very large. It's again it's also quite heavy, but I do like it. Uh, I do have a gemstone uh, on there in the my pen finial, so you can sort that out for your initials or just have the standard finial or or a gemstone. The next one is the. Visconti uh, Luxor. Now sometimes you'll see this reference as the um, Luxor 88 or the Luxor Obelisk or the Luxor 88 Obelisk. Basically it's uh, a pen to commemorate the Luxor Obelisk from Egypt being moved to Paris and there are only 88 pens of these made worldwide and these are Machiai pens and it's stunning Machiai that, that's uh, been uh, painted on onto these pens. And then it uh, has, uh, I think, six l layers of lacquer on top to protect it. Uh, and then you have this lovely uh, exquisite clip. And then the, the RAR logo here is actually uh, gold, real gold, carved out. And this pen, again, is is quite a large pen it's a lightweight pen you can post the pen it's not it will not post that secure though so it will wobble around a bit and to be honest i wouldn't want to do that because i would be scared of ruining the lacquer and the maquillage on this um, it's a power vac filler it is a, a really uh, juicy pen it has a double reservoir in it but again that is another titan in my collection i guess one of the cheaper titans is the um visconti divina oversized these are quite long pens and again <laughs> there seems to be a bit of a, a sequence going on here long pens small filling systems so this actually has a pull out and twist captured converter in it and if I just remove, you'll see there that this is quite a long pen again. 
um, and you can just about post this. I wouldn't really want to. The pen is too long as it is, but it is a lovely, lovely pen that I have in my collection. And I'll show you the the uh, different material here. It is just absolutely stunning. So, so the Visconti Davinas are, are quite a long pen. And you can see here in terms of the, the gap on the pen tray. Another Titan I have is the Visconti Camelot. Now, this is such a lovely, lovely pen that you'll see here. Not only the gold, but also the chainmail that this pen is, uh, the overlay that is on this pen and also the the gold clip or sword as well so this is an absolute stunning uh, titan of a pen that i have in my collection and and again in terms of size it's again a large pen it none of these pens are small now uh, you cannot post this pen it literally will not fit at all so that there's one thing to that so they really Visconti really do not want you to post this pen now this is a power vac as well so again this one will hold around about sort of two and a half milliliters of ink uh, we have the uh, classic pens LB5 which is a stunning stunning pen it has this uh, diffusion bonded acrylic and it is an absolute stunning stunning pen you can just see how the light reflects off of this so again like this is not Visconti this is a classic pens LB5 but again it's a large pen with a smaller filling system so let's let's have a look um, in terms of size, it's, it's actually a large pen. You can post it, and it posts very securely, and it makes the pen a little bit longer. Doesn't make it too back weighted for me, but it is a very comfortable pen. But the pen itself is fairly lightweight, and I'll show you the the filling system that they have is basically a standard international converter. So if you look in terms of the where it would come and in, in terms of fitting in the barrel now this could be a, could have been made a piston pen although this was made by sailor for for classic pens and the majority of sailors do come with cartridge converters you do get the sailor realos that are pistons but the majority of them are tend to be converters and I have nothing against converters I actually find they're a lot easier to clean a lot easier to maintain in general so again another large pen with a lot uh, another smaller filling system and now we have the very large Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco and this is such a stunning pen that I have in my collection. And you can see here the, the Arco material. Uh, this is number 202. Um, and it is just a stunning, stunning material. And, and this is original Omas uh, celluloid. Omas used to make uh, pens like this, like the Paragon and, and other models. But... Uh, this is a lovely lovely material now in terms of size again it is a large pen so if I unscrew the cap you'll see here that it is a large pen now you can post it and again it becomes a silly wand if you try to post it it's not it's not back heavy though the most of the weight is in the pen because it actually has a I th believe it's a brass filling tube so it is a uh, lovely pen this comes with a number eight size nib so you can see there that that is a lovely lovely nib it's laser etched so ink will pull on that nib 
uh, where it is laser etched. It's a massive nib. Basically the same size nib as a, a Mont Blanc 149 or a Pelican M1000. So it is a large, large nib. But this is a lovely, lovely Titan that I have in my collection as well. And then obviously you have the two smaller pens. So I thought I would just really do this series and, and just show off some, some of the larger Titans I have and just just show you really the, the difference in the pens. So I hope you like this video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye. <laughs>